Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. And it's about damn time, isn't it, Panthers fans? Welcome back to the second round. The Florida Panthers have defeated the Washington Capitals in six games. Now, some may say that this is quite a little underwhelming, given the fact that the... Uh, that pretty much the Panthers were the heavy favorites going into this match. They won the President's Trophy, obviously, and that curse will still linger over their heads until the, the day they win the Cup, if, that, if, if and so that happens. But this was a big test for them because in the past, and specifically the last year as well, the Panthers have actually had good teams. The difference is, is there was always that immortal question, is it a playoff team or is it a good team? The 2019 Tampa Bay Lightning are an amazing team, but they weren't a playoff team. The 2021 uh, Florida Panthers were an amazing team as well, but they were not a playoff team. The 2022 Panthers, though, they're a playoff team. And honestly, Washington, you can't really feel bad because you know what? This was always going to be an uphill battle, but credit to the Capitals, they did make it interesting. First off, the Capitals come in into Florida and steal Game 6. Uh, they win 4-2, to two, a shocker to the system, honestly. And it was such a great game for them because it showed how this series needed to be. It was a team with all the talent against a team that had been there, done that, and knew what it felt like. And for a while, that actually gave gave Washington the edge and arguably could have been the game, the series winner, if not for game four. Now, let's first talk about game two. The Panthers come back with a vengeance after losing game one, feeling like they were embarrassed. They put up five goals. Uh, they chased Vitek Vanacek. He would not be seen for the rest of the series. Ilyan Samsonov would replace him. And the Panthers win game two in impressive fashion. Now the series switches to Washington, and something shocking happens. The Capitals blow out the Panthers, 6-1. to one. The Capitals dominate the Panthers. They, the Panthers don't even look like they're in the same league as the Caps in game three. And the Capitals take a 2-1 lead in the series. Game four rolls around, and oh my god, what and what a what if scenario late in game four capitals leading sam reinhardt with under a minute to play ties the game forces it to overtime and a name you're going to hear at least one more time in this video carter verhage scores and wins it in overtime gives the panthers back to life now, instead of a possible 3-1 series lead for Washington, it's 2-2, two two, and you're going back to Florida. The Panthers then win 5-2 in Florida. They put, or 5-3, sorry, my, my apologies, 5-3 in Florida. They may win a statement win once again, and they go to Washington, where it's honestly a solid game between the Caps and, and the... Um, and the Panthers, like, a lot of these games were still pretty watchable. Like, it wasn't like, like, no disrespect to Nashville and, um, and Colorado, but half those games are not watchable. Like, they're to the point where you're just, like, about halfway through the game, you're like, oh, my God, this is so, this is done. This is done. This is over now. But, yeah, these, to, to the Capitals' credit, they did keep it close. But the Capitals are now in a tough spot. And let's talk about that for a second before we move on to what happens in Game 6. Because the Capitals ultimately lose in 6. And Ovechkin kind of said it best. He said, they're kind of fucked. It's kind of fucked up. And he actually worded it like that. Because the Capitals are in the same place as the Penguins in the same respect. They are the old guard. They are the established team. There are new teams making the, playoff the playoffs these days, and it definitely threatens the livelihood of the Capitals going back to the playoffs next year. Ovechkin has not missed the playoffs in a long, long time. And the core there is still solid in theory, but it is definitely aging, and there are holes in their lineup where the Panthers were able to exploit. Team depth was an issue, um, especially on the defensive end. You, would, you could see... On nights where the Panthers dominated, they cut through with ease, and that was the big factor. Now let's talk about Game Six. Game Six, Panthers have a lead late in the in the game. 
the Capitals tie it, but then, once again, Carter Verhage in overtime seals the Capitals' fate, wins it for Florida, and Florida is off to the second round for the first time since 1996. The last time they made it past the second round, they made it all the way to the cup final, getting swept by the Colorado Avalanche. What a weird world we could live in if history repeats itself once again. Honestly, Panthers fans... Be excited because you're done, your series, you've done all you need to do. And right now, your two rivals are tearing each other apart. They are killing each they other. They are murdering each other just to get the chance to play you. So rest up, get ready, because either Toronto or Tampa will be facing you. And we'll find that out by tomorrow. So, once again, honestly guys, let me know. Who do you think, what do you think was the biggest reason for the Panthers winning this series? What do you think is the future of the Washington Capitals? Let us know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It does help us out a lot. We appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because we always like to love to meet more people. And we live stream playoff games all the time. So it's always great to chat. And we will see you later. Oh, Connor. You'll the top for Connor and